Okay, this is called the Grind Series, where I'm gonna go through every grind of the new Jaws Raw line. We have the W, we have X, we have the S, and then we have the brand new Z. And today, we're talking about the S grind. It's called the Middle Ground Grind. It's a grind that's played a lot on tour. I'm gonna to show you what this thing can do on some pitch shots, some chip shots, and some bunker shots. It's a world of wonder. Here we go. Welcome to the world of wonder. Let the games begin. Oh, this thing's awesome. It's actually a lot of fun to hit. I know a lot about your bag. How much do you know about your own? Not as much as you. There's a memo that went off this morning. We're at the same club. <laughs> You're the best wedge player I've seen in a long time. Me? Well, um, thank you. Hey, that's a good reason to put an iron in your bag. Okay, so today in the grind series, we're gonna talk about the S grind. So out on tour, I would call this your middle ground grind. So as you can see, you have a little bit of heel relief here, a little bit of toe relief, a little bit of relief on the back end. And something new that they did on all the Jaws Raw wedges is this little skid plate here, gives you a little bit more balance on the leading edge. It's kind of a tour thing. It's just a good solid wedge. Um, I think it's probably the grind that would probably fit the widest swath of golfers. Um, so let's just see what it does here on this little 40 yard little pitch shot. Right, that was clipped okay. Woo. Okay. Didn't hit it perfectly, I hit it, clipped it pretty good. The one thing I've always liked about the S grind, especially on shots like this, is it doesn't dig. Now this extra relief makes that even easier. But with this new weighting system and that tungsten out there by the toe, what that kind of eliminates for me is the ball doesn't ride up the face on shots like this. Like that's a good low shot. That's got some spin on it. Woo. Okay, let's hit one more from here. That last one was pretty good. But you can hear that grab. Now it's not going to rip because the the you know right in front of the flag there's a little bit of a down slope, but uh, so far so good. So now we're going to hit some shots, and this is where this leading edge is going to come into play. So we're obviously a lot closer to the green. Now some people will get like a seven iron seven iron out or an eight iron here. I like to play everything with a sixty around the greens, like from seventy five yards and in. I use it for everything, so I need this club to do a lot. So on a square face shot. You know, for me, I always try to hit little hooks in when I'm this close. So let's just see what that leading edge does here. That's pretty money. Maybe I should look at an S grind. This looks pretty good. This shot off the green with a lob wedge, I and mean, there's a lot that can happen here, but they've kind of built in some fail safes on these new wedges, so. All right, so hit one more, weights forward, hands forward. I'm just trying to hit little hooks, just like that, it was pulley. But I can tell the difference. So with, uh, with Jaws MD5, which is uh, amazing wedges, on certain shots, I had a tendency to let the ball kind of ride up the face a little bit. I'm noticing with this tungsten out here and this weight pad up top, higher CG, I'm noticing that I'm able to control my flight a lot better. So we're gonna go into the bunker and see what this S grind does out of the bunker. Now for me, in the past, with the S grind, out of the bunker is where it's sort of like not been my favorite. And it's not a negative thing, it's just because of the bounce profile of this thing, I've always felt like it, gets, it got a little diggy for me out of the bunkers. So let's hit some shots out of the bunker. Ooh, but let's hit down the one here. Like that was pretty good there. So you can hear the sound difference. There's an acoustic difference when you really clip one. That one ended up a little bit short, but I really like the strike. Let's hit one more. Let's see if I can really get one up and zip one. So if I'm gonna hit one up in the air, if I'm really trying to, really trying to roast one, I kind of almost go all the way to the end of the club. It's almost like a driver swing. And as you can see, that ball came out with a ton of spin. But that's the S grind. This is just a right fastball down the middle grind. Uh, if you guys have any questions, go to CallawayGolf.com, World of Wonder website. Uh, it's Johnny Wonder from the bunker. Let's get on to the next grind. We're out of here.